Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Hyper-V Manager and create virtual switch on Windows 8.1 Enterprise Edition. Okay, so first let's go ahead and install Hyper-V Manager. We have to go to the control panel. We need to right click start menu and then control panel. And then we need to go to our programs. turn Windows features on or off. In my case I already installed Hyper-V but we have to make sure Hyper-V is selected and then click OK. Your system will install Hyper-V Manager role and it will restart when it comes back up you should have Hyper-V Manager installed. As we can see here in the start menu Hyper-V Manager is already installed. So let's go ahead and open Hyper Remanager. Using Hyper Remanager, we can create a virtual switch through Virtual Switch Manager, which we can see top right hand side section here, Virtual Switch Manager. And then it gives us three options to create three different virtual switches. First, we can create external, then internal or private, depending on our needs. So for example, if we create external virtual switch, it basically gives the ability to um, all the virtual switches can communicate together and can talk to the physical computer and can access the internet, can access the physical network. If you select internal switch, using internal switch, only virtual machines can talk together and can talk to the physical computer. That's it. They don't have internet connection, they cannot access to the physical network. And using private network, if we create a private virtual switch, only virtual machines can talk together. They cannot talk to the physical computer and they cannot talk to the internet, they cannot communicate to the physical network. In, in, in this case, I'm going to create external virtual switch. So as you can see, external virtual switch is selected, highlighted, and then click create virtual switch. Let's go ahead and call it external. And already it's connected to the network adapter. And then click apply. It basically tells us that your network temporarily will be down to create this virtual switch. Okay, so if we go to our network connection window, which we can access it through ncpa.cpl, we should be able to see the Ethernet external switch. All right, so let's go click OK. And um, we should have our external virtual switch. If we click Virtual Switch Manager, we can see external switches here. And if we want to modify, manage, pretty much through Virtual Switch Manager, we can modify it. 